So when we get infections anywhere in the body, respiratory infections, urinary infections, when we think of treating it, we think of turning to herbal medicines like echinacea or andrographis or cinnamon herbs that really help to clear the infection. So, you know, the, the herbs that are antiviral, antibacterial. And that's absolutely right. But what virtually everyone fails to add into that towards the end of the infection, once the acute phase of the infection has passed, that the key, the linchpin to fully clearing that infection, to speeding up the recovery to full health, it's not down to so much removing the infection, it's from getting the lymph flowing, okay? The lymphatic fluid, the lymphatic tissues, making sure they're all being properly nourished and moving properly. Because if we've had an infection, we've had a sore throat or a cold or a urinary infection, whatever it may be, our immune system will have killed off millions of viral or bacterial cells. So there will be millions of dead um, pathogens and there will be millions of dead, of dead immune cells. The immune cells themselves will have died off. So collectively, we've got millions and millions of, of cellular uh, dead cells, cellular debris. And that debris ends up in one place and that place is the lymphatic tissue. And what it does is it causes congestion. It causes the lymphatic fluid to thicken up and it congests, which is why you often get swollen lymph glands you know, towards the end of an infection. It's because those lymph glands along the jawline or the neck or the clavicles, it's because they're filled up with fluid because they're congested with all this debris. And that's absolutely key because if that fluid stays congested, it's going to significantly impair our ability to clear any remnants of, in, of the infection. It's going to suppress our immune system. It's going to slow down recovery. But if we can, if we can mitigate that problem, if we can get the lymph fluid, you know, flowing properly, if we can decongest it, if we can clear out all that cellular debris, it's the key to unlocking full and complete recovery post-infection. And it's the number one priority. It's, just, it's, the, it's the part of infection management so many people miss. But the key thing is the single best herb for, for supporting that is cleavers, okay, sticky weed. Um, the herb that you throw on your jumper and it sticks to it, which is, you know, from about now from uh, mid to late February all the way through to summer, it's growing abundantly. OK, um, and I've just made this uh, cleavers cold water infusion, which is literally cleavers. You can put some orange or some lemon in there to make it taste better. Um, and you just leave that in the fridge overnight. Uh, and, and, and then you just drink, you know, one, two, three cups of that over the course of the day, do that every day for, you know, four or five days if you've had an infection, but it's also brilliant as a detoxifier. If you're feeling sluggish, if you're feeling heavy, if you're got water retention, if you've got congestion, swelling, anything there where there's a sign of stagnation, congestion, blockage, okay, mucus, swollen ankles, menstrual water retention, anything like that, or you just feel like you need to detoxify. Cleavers at this time of the year is absolutely miraculous in its ability to leave us feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. OK, so whether you've got an infection or, you know, you want to know about this to speed up recovery from an infection or just as a way of easing our body from winter into spring and keeping our energy and vitality and immunity up, knowing how to use cleavers is, is really, really important. So um, in the video description below, you'll find uh, a link to a full profile, which will give you all the information you need to use cleavers properly. Any questions, let me know.